Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video. I've been sick for for quite a long time. Been coughing really hard, so I wasn't able to speak that much. So the thing is, I'm back, so it's all good. I'm gonna do a lot of videos for you guys. And the first video I'm doing today, since I'm back, is on Po P O E. This is one of the very useful chatbot I've been using for probably the last two months. I did the video before when chat gbt4 was just announced and uh, po was able to offer like a free trial for 30 days or now you can use it for free but you only get one prompt per day and i just want to show you some of the updates on this platform and then i'll show you some of the new newer features so what's new in poe or po so now you're able to actually use or create your own custom chatbots, you might want to ask, why should I create my own custom chatbot? And that is a very valid reason. Uh, at first, I was just like, um, oh, why don't I just continue to use the the Sage or uh, ChatGPT version that they have inside Po? But when I realized that if I can make a custom chatbot, then on a particular topic, the chatbot knows what they are good or they are strong in, and I want those prompts only cater for a certain topic. So I'm going to go through in the actual detail how to create a custom chatbot, how that works. And the second update is previously it's only a, PO, a poll was only available on iOS and the subscription, the paid version, you can only go through iOS. And now I think they have expanded on to the web platform as well so you can use Po on your iPhone iPad as well as your mobile bra your internet browser so if you're on a computer then you can obviously access it through Safari Edge any browser that you like but currently Android app is still in development according to their uh, Twitter feed so yeah they've also mentioned about the cloud uh, version 1.3 cloud plus in their platform but that's not going to be mentioned in today's video. I just want to focus on the custom chatbot. So before we get started, um, if you can subscribe to my channel, like this content, that will be really helpful for my channel to grow and reach out to more people in for those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet. So here is the poll platform. The I think once you log in, this is the page. I've made this through like in a custom app on my Mac computer. So I just need to click on the, the icon is not actually from, from a, a browser tab. And you can see on the left hand side, there are all these different chatbots. The one from Sage, GPT-4, uh, Cloud Plus, Cloud Instant, ChatGPT, and then Dragonfly. Um, if you go back to my previous video, I did mention uh, most of those chatbots are what are their uh, pros and cons or sort of like what they are used for. And since we're talking about custom chatbot, I do want to show you this particular button. So if you want to create a chatbot, you can just click on this where you're going to give it a name. It can be anything between four to 15 uh, alpha numeric characters. So let's say I want to do stuff related with fitness. So I can say fitness king something like that, just for, for fun. You can put a, a bot description. So when in the future, someone is able to find your bot, uh, there will be a description. So I'll just put in something like this. Yeah, just like helping up helping them on their fitness questions and challenges. And then you can select the language model you want to use. It can be ChatGPT or Cloud Instant. So in this case, I'll try ChatGPT. And then prompt visible, uh, the prompt visible from bot profile. Uh, you can allow other people to see or not. So if you want to hide it, then you can, anyone who subscribed to this bot don't know the, the actual prompt behind it. But since we're talking about fitness, so we can say that speak as if you are a 20 year fitness coach 
that has helped many clients on their fitness journey from losing weight to body building. Your audience are average person that does not have the fitness knowledge. Speak in plain English rather in technical terms. Always use encouraging and positive tones when they are facing challenges. So I guess we have to turn this on. I don't know if we can allow this to go through. So let's see. So you can put in like an intro message. I am Fitness King. How can I help you? And if we click down on the events, so you can provide like the markdown type if you want, and then suggested reply. So if you ask one question, this chatbot give you a response. It will come up with some other suggested replies or some other suggested questions. So that's, I think that's good. You can turn that on. You can try these. It doesn't matter. You can turn it on, turn it off every time you go back and edit this bot. So let's say I'm happy with this. So I'll hit create bot. So now this is created. So if you want to go back to this bot, just hover back to the, the avatar. And then you can see this is only followed by myself. You can come back in, edit this bot. Anything you've put in here before, you can change it. And then let's go back. And then you can share the spot with others if, if you think this is a really good one. So let's start having a conversation with uh, Fitness King. I'm 220 pounds. I'm overweight. Can you help me come up with a fitness plan to lose weight? I'm very lazy. So previously we mentioned that we want this chapel to be have to have a lot of like encouragement, positive tone. So you can see us like saying, Oh, congratulations on taking your first step, blah, 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 which is good. I think you can start seeing some of these tones of wordings, like, you know, you've got this. And then I've mentioned that I'm very lazy. And it says like, oh, that's okay. We all have our moments. So I think most of the coach, whether it's a fitness coach or whatnot, they try to be more, uh, try to be more, uh, to provide like the you know, positivity. So people don't feel discouraged. So this is a really a good starting point. So let's, so since we've asked one question and fitness King gave me one response. We are seeing some of the other suggested uh, response. So here's like, oh, what are some easy to make healthy meals I can try? So again, it's going to spit out things because we've already given the prompt to the bot that he is a fitness. It is a fitness coach. I'm not going to say he or she. Yeah, doesn't make sense. So yeah, I think this is how you can create your own chat, uh, create your own chat bot. I think the, the key difference is if you are using like back on the stage chat GBT, they are knowledgeable on fitness stuff, but you have to put in extra prompt tell them that every time you have a conversation with these chat bot, you have to tell them you are an expert in you know, X, Y, Z. So right now, if we create this custom chat bot, I can save some time without typing in all these uh, prompt in advance. So now why don't we compare with the Fitness King chatbot versus the regular ChatGPT? So let me just 
copy this particular question again, go back to chat GBT, clear up my response. It's all clear. So I'll ask the same question and see what response chat GBT in general just give me. So here we go. So the one for chat GBT is not going to tell you the way I wanted to prompt, like, you no, know, put a lot of encouragements, uh, provide a lot of positivity around, you know, how helping people, especially in, for beginners, like who, who are having challenges, stuff like that. So yeah, I think you're going to get the response in like, some sort of process where to get started. So let's just compare with this, the, let's just compare the one with Fitness King. So here it'll say, it'll say that for weight loss, most important thing is to create a calorie deficit, which means you need to burn more calories than you consume. And then, yeah, this is good. It mentioned about, you know, I'm lazy, which I've mentioned previously, but in the chat GBT one, uh, just chat GBT, I don't think it actually care if you're lazy or not. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't mention that if you're lazy, a certain approach would be better. So like I said, it's the same language model. It's just that it's a bit more customized. You can customize the tone. You can be, you can mention to, you can change your bot to be more precise, less words, less fluff, or you want a lot of fluff, something like that. So, I mean, there, there's not really a limit and it really depends on how you want the chatbot to respond to you in a certain way that you think it'll benefit you the most. So we can also discuss how you can start subscribe to this service. If you want to use the GBT four and the cloud plus. So if we hit settings in here, it'll tell you that every day you have one prompt on GBT four, you have three cloud plus. Oh, messages. I think previously this was only one as well. They bumped this up to three. And if you want to uh, con continue to use the, the more advanced model, then you got to subscribe to Po. If you hit Po, then it'll tell you the price. This is the price for Hong Kong, but I think it is 20, 20 USD per month. You can pay a uh, yearly or monthly. And once you subscribe in the past, I think there was a limitation that's only like, you no. Know, 400, 600 a month, and then they will, they will not allow you to use it anymore. But with the recent update, now you can use up to 600, uh, prompts on GPT-4 and 1000 cloud plus messages. And then after that, they will still allow you to input the message, but the time is going to be a bit slower. So I think that's still fine. So this is really up to you. If you want to use the chat GPT four or you know, cloud plus, some people might just be happy enough to, to use chat GPT or the cloud instance. So this is really up to you. Yeah. So this is just a quick update on poll on the custom chatbot, the new subscription on web. Um, the beauty of this tool is that all the messages, the prompts, the replies from the chatbot, I can see it on both of my phone as well as on my computer. So anything I type in on, on my phone, then I can also see it on my computer. So I think that's the reason why I'm really, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy to use Po because it actually keeps all the conversation history. I think for Bing, Bing doesn't keep history. But this wraps up my quick video on Po update, creating custom chatbots. If you have any, any questions, please let me know. Um, also let me know what kind of content you would like me to create for you. Uh, whether it's IT, uh, the other AI, uh, copywriting tools, uh, let me know. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.